What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys the fire starter of Paltea. We got ourselves a Skelly Dirge team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Skelly Dirge, this Pokemon is phenomenal. It's got great typing, great design, and a solid set of moves. It's got Torch Song, Shadow Ball, Will-O-Wisp to burn physical attackers, and Slack Off for HP recovery. Speaking of HP recovery, Skelly Dirge is holding the leftovers, getting HP at the end of every single turn. On top of that, it's got Unaware as its ability, making this Pokemon just a solid Pokemon all around for this format. Now, another Pokemon I want to talk about that we are featuring on today's team going to be this Sneasler. Now, normally, you will see Sneasler paired up with like Rillaboom or Indeedee holding the Psychic Seeds or Grassy Seeds. But in this instance, we are using the Normal Gem and Fake Out to use our item and pop unburdened. So turn one, we can pop in with Sneasler. We can use Fake Out. We can get the Flinch. We can get a little bit of a damage boost, to be honest, with the Normal Gem. Then on top of that, the next turn, we're going to be able to outspeed most Pokemon, use Acrobatics and the Flying Terror type, and do a ridiculous amount of damage. Our final four Pokemon on today's squad features Primarina, King Gambit, Wilboom, and Bax Caliber. Primarina, just such a solid Pokemon who is fairy and water type, such good typing with Liquid Voice, Throat Spray. King Gambit's going to be a great physical attacker with his black glasses and Defiant. Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things. I don't even need to explain it. And Bax Caliber is holding loaded dice with Scale Shot, Icicle Spear, High Horsepower, and Dragon Dance. So maybe one of these matches we can set up a Dragon Dance, get Bax Caliber rolling. Guys, we're going to team for yourself. Not code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Skelly Dirge in ranked regulation H. So guys, we're hopping into our first match for today's video. And we're going up against a pretty staple squad here. I mean, they got Garchomp, they got Amoongus, they got Golden Goat, Incineroar, Porygon 2, and Sneasler. So a lot of meta Pokemon that we're facing here in match number one. Now, I could see them lead Incineroar. I could go King Gambit if that's the case. And I kind of want to do that. I kind of just want to go King Gambit and maybe Sneasel here right off the rip just to kind of like get a Defiant boost if they lead it in Cinnamon. And if not, we could just fake out a normal gem and kind of get rolling from there. So I really do actually like that. So King Gambit, Sneasel are going to be our lead. We are going to end up bringing Skelly Dirge in for late game just because I'd like Skelly Dirge and I really want to use it. And last but not least, a good Pokemon for this matchup could be Primarina. I mean, as long as we can get rid of like, mm, I was going to say Golden Go, but I forgot they got Sneasel. Could go back to Caliber. Could definitely go back to Caliber. Or I could just go Rillaboom. Keep things simple. Let's see what you got, Rillaboom. Hmm. The Sneasel I'm scared of. I might just go in with Bax Caliber. But I mean, Sneasel kind of counters all three of these Pokemon. So it's like, who would be better? I'm going to go Bax Caliber with the loaded dice. I like Bax Caliber. It can, it can do a lot of different things here. It's got high horsepower to deal with Incineroar. It's got Icicle Spear to deal with the Moongus. Scale Shot to deal with Dragon type Pokemon. A few different things, right? I like it. But again, it is weak to a few of the Pokemon. Golden Go. Uh, fighting with the. What is it? The Sneasler. Garchomp can use ground moves. A lot, again, a lot of different options here. But they're going to end up going into these two, which I can just fake out the Moongus. Play it simple here. Use a normal gem. Um, and from here, do we just send a Kaltak Cleave? We might as well just go Kaltak Leave and fake out this slot. I like it. It could end up protecting Amoongus, but I don't get rid of my normal gem if that's the case. Ooh, if they protect Amoongus here, cool, they don't. Awesome. I was going to say, if they protect Amoongus and block the fake out, I do not get rid of my normal gem, which is pretty massive for us. Nessie Pot gets set up here, and we are throwing a Kaltak Leave in this slot. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. That's pretty much free KO, right? Yeah, thank you. Wait, what did you think I was doing? Were you trying to pop Rage Powder? That's what it was. That's what it was. All right, you were trying to pop Rage Powder. All right, I understand it. I understand it. So, a lot of Sneasers actually... Ooh, you're going to Defiant boost me? Thank you very much. So, But a lot of Sneasers, as of recently, aren't running... Aren't running Fake Out. So, I guess they didn't expect me to be running Fake Out. But, I mean, they could Fake Me Out right now. And at this point, I'm just going to protect King Gambit, considering he's sitting plus one. And I think that's who you're going to fake out. And I'm just going to go into an Acrobatics. I know I'm minus one, but this is double damage. It can do some nice damage across the board. But I can see him definitely go for fake out and Spore here. And double down in that slot. And no, they're going to actually end up attacking the Sneasler. Please don't Spore the Sneasler. Leave my Sneasler alone. All right, cool. You end up going after King Gambit. They don't know I want to use Acrobatics. So I Terrastalize. I get after it here. I might double down to this Amoongus. I might just double down to this Amoongus, because the big part of us losing this game is going to be us going to sleep. Right? 
Yeah, I'm gonna double down to Amoongus. I don't think it protects you. We're doubling straight down to Amoongus here. We're doubling straight down. We're going for Acrobatics. We're going for Kalatau Cleave. He's gonna end up clicking that Terra button. Probably on Incineroar. No, it is gonna be Amoongus. Going into straight Fairy type. Okay, that actually works really well here. So Fairy type Amoongus going to put us to sleep. So this thing's definitely surviving both of our shots. Oh, you're going for Rage Powder. All right, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Better than us going to sleep. That was a good Terra type, though. Acrobatics launches. Does minimal damage. I'm going to swap the Sneasel this next turn. Flareboat's going to come out here and do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Cataclysm Leap plus one. Going to be not very effective, but still slices up a good chunk of damage. Um, And if Barry comes out here, I think swapping Sneasel might be our play. I do believe Swap and Sneasel might be our play. I could just go into Skelly Dirge. I could end up going into you. But the problem here is... Oh, man, dude. Amoongus is just annoying. It really is. I definitely want to Swap Sneasel, but I don't know into who. I'm going to end up protecting you. And from here, who do I go into? Probably Baxcalibur here. <laughs> Probably Baxcalibur. Let's do it. So I'm going to go Baxcalibur here. Because if there is an off chance that he is going for a fire move, I mean, we got Thermal Exchange ready to roll. Um, I could maybe set up a Dragon Dance next turn. I got options here. But we're just going to protect King Gambit, try to get one from there. I think another Rage Powder is going to fly. Yeah. So another Rage Powder. Probably a Flare Blitz into the King Gambit slot. No, into the Backscalibur slot. I mean, we're Thermal Exchange, which is good. It still does a ridiculous amount of damage, which I do not like. But I am going to get that attack boost, which is nice. Which is beautiful. Okay. So now from here, what about speeds? Well, I could've just iron headed that slot. Baxcalibur's gotta go first. Yeah, Baxcalibur all day. Um, I mean, probably just do this and just go for a scale shot instead, lower defense stats. I mean, if Rage Powder comes out, that's terrible. You know what, we're just gonna do this. You're definitely going for Rage Powder. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. So Icicle Spear is going to fly. This should KO. We should outspeed the Incineroar, which is nice. And then he kind of gets to pick and choose who he wants to KO here. So we're going to say bye-bye to you, which is great news. They don't have Terra anymore. They don't have Amoongus. They can't hard swap back out Incineroar. We got our unburdened Sneasel still chilling, which is great. Like close combat, this Incineroar. And he's probably going to take out King Gambit here. Is that a correct statement? No, it looks like Baxcalibur. The Baxcalibur takes a KO. That's fine. You keep my King Gambit on the field. He's plus one. Iron Head's going to slide over to this Incineroar slot. And he's going to take some recoil. This Iron Head could KO. This will be huge. Let's see what you got. Real close yet so far. Now, Sneasel is probably the best option here, but I'm going to go into my Skelly Dirge. We're going right into my Skelly Dirge because I can always just sucker punch this Incineroar who probably can't protect, right? A lot of them don't rock protect. But they're going to go into Sneasel of their own. So, I mean... Probably just like a double protect place here for us, right? Yeah, let's go double protect. I do not have protect on you. I might just sucker punch here. I'm gonna go for sucker punch. You might just fake out the skelly dirge. You might just fake out the skelly dirge. Or not even fake out the skelly dirge. You might just double down the skelly dirge. So I'm just gonna go for the burn here. Sucker punch does launch. Fake out does not come out here, which is massive. In cinema, we're gone. Maybe you weren't rocking fake out. And Sneasel are going to Dire Claw my Skelly Dirge here, who soaks it all day. Do not put me to sleep. Thank you. And Will-O-Wisp? Come on now. Missing my burn. That's a big time burn right there. That's a big time burn right there. But Skelly Dirge is in a great position up against this uh this Sneasler. Probably has close combat. Dire Claw. We're chilling. We're definitely chilling. But from here, honestly, we should just launch a Sucker Punch. Eh. It's really weak to that, but... Now, we'll go Iron Head. I will try to go for another burn because burn pretty much locks down this victory. And they just canceled the match. So, match number one, going perfectly. We start off today's video 1-0. That first match was honestly really solid. Me and our opponent were going back and forth that whole match. We just played it super well, protecting at the right time, getting out the right Pokemon, getting the Defiant boost, the Thermal Exchange boost, and everything, again, working perfectly. We're going up against Kilowattle team here in match number two. With Garchomp, Sneasler, again, we're seeing Sneasler all over the meta. That's got Indeedee, Golden Go, and Galarian Weezing. Now, Galarian Weezing is one of those weird Pokemon that really just changes up how everything is being played. It takes away all abilities on the field, so who should we go into if they're going to bring Galarian Weezing? If they're going to bring Weezing, it is going to be a lead. 
is going to be a lead. So I think Skelly Durge is honestly a solid lead here. I mean, if they go into a few physical attackers like Sneasler, like Garchomp, we can always just throw a burn onto them. That works really, really well. I could go into Bex Calibre here and maybe try to set up a Dragon Dance as well. That could be good. That could definitely be good. But do I want to do that? Because if they go into like Kilowattle, they get a lot of speed. Could go into Sneasler here. Again, if they go into Weezing, how could we play that? I mean, Sneasler could still fake out. It just won't get its unburdened boost right away. I'm down for Sneasler. So we're going to go Sneasler. We're going to go Skelly Dirt here. Um, for late game, I like going into King Gambit here. I think King Gambit is just a solid Pokemon all around. And last but not least, probably Primarina. Yeah, I can get down with Primarina. Because I feel like they're two big offensive threats. Well, they kind of have three with Sneasler. But I was going to say it's Garchomp and Golden Go. Right? Yeah. I mean, Sneasler is one of them. But I think we should be fine here. I think we should be fine. So Sneasler and Kilowatch will come out here first. Um, Kilowatch is special attack, and Sneasler is physical attack. And I think he just wants to set up a Tailwind more so than anything. So I think throwing maybe like a burn over onto the slot is definitely a play. So I'm going to burn and just fake out the Sneasler. I'm just going to burn and fake out the Sneasler, hoping that their Sneasler actually doesn't have fake out. Just so I can fake it out first, get rid of any item it's using. Like if it's Focus Ash, and just put a burn on that thing. Because burning Sneasler is going to be massive. It's going to be massive. So he ends up just protecting Caesar, which is such a good turn. Because what are you going to get? Tailwind speed control here? And I don't get to use my fake out normal gem. So he might just want to swap Caesar this next turn. He might just want to swap Caesar. And now you're going to air slash. Oh, no. Oh, no. And will wisps doing nothing. All right. I see you. I understand. I understand. Now, is Kilowatch faster than my Caesar? Probably it is, right? Yeah. I think we just hard swap. Did you swap to a special attacker here? Weezing Golden Go. I think I'm just going to Torch Song you now. I'm going to swap to King Gambit. I need my Sneasler. I need my Sneasler. See, that was the problem that we uh, I thought we were going to run into last match. If the Pokemon protects, I do not get off my normal gem. Which is a huge problem. So there's that. Thunderbolt's going to flip over into this slot. Do a decent amount of damage. He's going to end up taunting me. Good thing I'm just going for a Torch Song right here. And this, uh, this Sneasler's got a weird moveset right here. Protect, Taunt. Okay, I see you. Torch Song launching. Bop, doing good damage. And on top of that, I get a nice little special attack boost. The special attack boost cooking. I get leftovers. Um, I could use Slack off this turn. There is a chance that they might even double down into me. And I might Slack off. Or I could just go into a Water Terror. But if you're going for Thunderbolt, hmm... I'm going to go for Slack off here. Oh, I can't. I can't. That really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. I'm going to go Torch Song into you. Could Sucker Punch a double down, but I'm just going to go for Iron Head. Look to finish off this Steezler. Who could protect? Maybe I should double down and kill the Watcher, but I think it's just attacking. It's fine. Because if I had to guess Sneasler's moveset, it's definitely Protect, Taunt, Close Combat, Direct Law. And I think if you double down into my Skelly Dirge, I don't think you can KO it. I do not think so. They could just be going for a close combat into my King Gambit. And you just end up protecting, which is fine. As long as I, if I can get off this Torch Song, I think we'd be sitting good. There's another Thunderbolt. We soaked that all day. That's why I wish we had Slack off. Or I wish we were able to use Slack off. It would have been a good turn for us to use it. But Torch Song flies and it just dumps on the Kilowattro. Let's go. Let's go, Skelly Dirge. That's a big time KO. That's a big time KO. Now, Iron Head's going to look to pop into Sneasler. Sneasler uses Protect here. But, um, yeah, I think they're noticing that we want to attack this Sneasler right now. And they might just go for Close Combat in the King Gambit. I could use my Terror type here, but it's a Dark Terror type, and it's not going to really work too well. It really is not. I think I'm just going to Protect King Gambit and try to KO the Sneasler. Let's see who they go into. It's going to be Chomp. Oh, man. Chomp kind of Chomp kind of rains on the parade, right? Could maybe go into Prima Arena, but oh man. We're gonna need Sneasler. We're definitely gonna need Sneasler. If I can't get off a burn, ah, dude, I can't. Stupid taunt, man. Stupid taunt, but I think we just gotta go for Torch Song here. I'd like to finish off Sneasler and just protect here. I could go into. That's the problem. I could go into Water Terror here, but I don't wanna waste my Terror because the problem is I still think we can die out to like a Stomping Tantrum. I really do, so I'm just gonna protect here. 
And he's gonna end up withdrawing Sneasel. So Sneasel gets to withdraw. Not going for close combat. I think they want to go for EQ. Maybe they might go into this guy right here with neutralizing gas. So abilities are gone. And this thing's sitting here with the air balloon. So he's gonna be able to go for EQ here. Alright, I see you. I understand. I understand. My Skelly Dirge is dead. Skelly Dirge is gonna die out here. Kind of curious to see if we would have been able to eat that up with a with a water terra but i really don't want to risk it I, I think we're fine with our other pokemon so now we're sitting here i can fake out this turn which is great news try to get my try to get my what's it called or i could go into primarina here moon blast all that good stuff hit terrestrialize water here as well because you are poison type yeah, that's really who I want to save this Terra for. Do they still have Terra? I honestly forgot. I'm going to go into Primarina here. I am going to go into Primarina. So Primarina's going to fly out here for us. Um, We could still suck a bunch, which is great news. We just don't have our abilities. Um, Did they use Terra yet? They did not. So they have Terra Raid Roll. Um, I could just go for a Hyper Voice here. It's not going to do that much damage, but it's going to throw a Spray Boost. Which is really good for us. But I'm also going to Thrasilize. So Terra boost it. Um, we are going to go for a Sucker Punch here. And we're just going to double down into this Guard Chomp slot. So I still have Sneezer. Sneezer could definitely come in clutch. Especially with Fake Out Normal Gem. Get that Unburden boost and outspeed the other Sneezer. But we're using our Terra type right here right now. Looking again after. I think there is a chance that Guard Chomp uses its Terra type as well. Which is why I kind of just want to go, to go into Hyper Voice instead of going to like Moon Blast here. So I can pop my Throat Spray. Because he could protect, he could pop a uh, terror type. And Sucker Punch is fine, he's doing neither. He's doing neither, so Sucker Punch does great damage here. EQ is going to launch with the air balloon. We are taking off the air balloon this turn as well. And how much damage is it doing? It's doing a lot. It's doing a bit too much. He's going to go for a sludge bomb. Can you soak this? You do. Good terror on our end. Poison does come out here. Poison does fly. But it was definitely worth it because I get off this hyper voice, which KOs the guard chop. We get a crit on the guard chop. I'll take it. No more airborne. They're down to their final Pokemon. Um, hmm. I think we just spam Sucker Punch here, right? Poison's gonna chip up some damage. This is gonna be our last turn with Primarina. Um, we got Sneasel rather low, don't we? So I can just Sucker Punch it away. Actually, no, it might be full. That's a half. I mean, Sucker Punch is gonna KO though. That's the problem. That's a problem. I'm gonna go for Moon Blast. I, I really just want to double down into this thing. I really want to double down. I think going for Sucker Punch though is definitely our play. This is brutal. This is brutal. We're sitting in a brutal position. I might be better off just protecting King Gambit. Yeah, turn this into a, a 2v1. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll protect King Gambit. Not 2v1. We'll turn this into a 2v2. Close combat's gonna launch, because yeah, you're outspeeding me right now. And he's gonna go for Sludge Bomb, so we're just gonna pick up the KOs. Yeah, okay. Alright, so yeah, this was definitely a better option than attack, because if we we attack there or Sucker Punch, we're gonna do a little bit of damage, but at the same time, then it just turns to a 2v1 for them. So now I'm able to go into my Sneasler. I don't have ability though, which really sucks. I can fake out though. We could read a Protect on their Sneasler's end. I might do that. I think I have to. I think I have to. I really feel like I have to. I could fake it out. I could fake it out, but they protected the last time. I'm going to go for a read here. I think they protect Sneasler. And this really comes down to the game here. I think they protect Sneasler. Show it to me. We're going for it. We're going for it. I think they protect Sneasler. They still have Terra type though, which is kind of scary. But I think they protect Sneasler. And if they protect Sneasler and we go fake out, take out with Iron Head, we can win this game. Let's just rock and ghost Terra on Sneasler, because they still have their Terra type. They can just terrestrialize here. Go ahead, protect the Sneasler. Just protect Sneasler. If this ghost Terra type on Sneasler, they just win this game regardless. Let's see. Definitely is. Definitely is. Yep, GG's. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Save their Terra type for the perfect time. This was the perfect time. Fake out is going to launch. Get the normal gem boosted. Um, we won't even have our ability. I mean, unless they 
Unless they take out Sneasler instead. No, they take out you. Okay. Fair game. I was gonna say, if they take out Sneasler and Iron Head still KOs, then we could just sucker punch the Sneasler and win this game. Um Yeah, no, that's game. That's the ball game. When she's out here, um You can see how much damage acrobatics can do. <laughs> but that's it. Watch, they're gonna protect Sneasler now. I'm gonna be so upset. But now they're just out speeding us. So GG's. Like I said, perfect tire type at the perfect time. That was a great call from our opponents. We're sitting one and one. Let's go hop to our third and final match. So guys, we're sitting one and one for today's video. Looking to bounce back from that last loss. Our opponent played really well there. Bringing out the guard chomp at the right time. Terrasalizing Sneasler at the right time. But we did rock out with Skelly Dirge. And I want to use Skelly Dirge here again. Now, a lead for us that we can honestly go into could be just like normal gem Sneasler and Bax Calibur here. And that is honestly something I really like. They do not have like Incineroar or Pokemon to intimidate us, so that works really well for us. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna bring Sea Lizards in late game. And last but not least, either Primarino or Rollboom seems to be the best call here. And I'm kind of leaning towards Primarino here, just because that fairy type is gonna be super effective, not only onto Garchomp, but onto the other dragon with Dragonite. And we have Hyper Voice with Liquid Voice as our ability to kind of take care of this Ursula. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Plus, we got Haze. Haze is always good. It's always a good move. So we're sitting one on one so far. We'll love to grab ourselves a winning record. 2-1 would be awesome, especially with Skelly Dirge. I feel like I, I really like Skelly Dirge. I really like Flake Coco more than Skelly Dirge, but I think uh, Skelly Dirge is probably the coolest starter in Paladin. Either that or Miascarada. Quackle Ball is just... Mm. Quackle Ball is not cool at all. I'm going to be honest. It's not cool at all. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. But they're going to end up going into... These two, Ursulina and Corp Knight, and Fake Out is definitely my call here. And I'm just gonna Fake Out you, and I'm just gonna set up this Dragon Dance. I think a nice little Dragon Dance can can get us cooking here. Get some more speed going, get a nice little attack boost. It's funny just looking at Sneasler compared to, like, Ursulina. It's just so funny. I think it's hilarious. Like, when they show from the, the backside, it's just like, Sneasler is so tiny compared to this monstrous bear. It's like, okay... Caesar's gonna fake this thing out. He's just gonna clap in its face. Like, imagine if I walked up to a bear and clapped in its face. I think it would just be like, Mwah, just claw me and just KO me all day. <laughs> just a giant bear claw just swinging across the top. We end up with Drawn Coordinate, which actually works really well for us. We're gonna end up going into Dragonite. And they're gonna end up Terrasalizing. Please don't be ghost typing. This could be bad. There's no way you're ghost typing, right? You gotta be normal. You're a ghost. That is just so perfect. That's just so perfect. So not only do you dodge my fake out, I do not pop normal gem and I do not get unburdened. Which really, oh man. That's bad news. Bad news bears. Bad news bears from the bear. Well, I end up D-dancing up. Um, what are you going for, Ursulina? I'm terrified of you. Hyperverse. That's some nice damage across the board. You speed shouldn't be able to KO me. I could attack this Dragonite. I could just attack this what's he called here as well. This Ursulina. Could also swap into like Skelly Dirt here. Because you could be going for East Speed. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this and Bax Caliber. We're just gonna go for an Icicle Spear here. And just KO you. That's my plan. That's my plan. Icicle Spear with loaded dice. Let's do it. I'm gonna swap the scenes. I think using our normal gem later would be good. Um there is a chance that you do go for East Speed into Skelly Dirge now. And I guess we'll see. Protect. You really, you really have protect. You really have protect. I was, I was thinking that I was gonna attack this Ursaluna, but in my head, I'm sitting there. I'm like, Dragonites don't run protect, and this one does, and it works so perfectly. So Hyper Voice doing huge chunks of damage. Um, you gotta have E speed ready to roll. You have got to have E speed ready to roll. I mean, at this point, we're just gonna do this and. I mean, if I can get it off, I'd like to go for this, but you're probably just e-speeding me at this point. It's so ugly. It's going to e-speed Earth Power me. Oh, man. The perfect protect. I get off no value with my Dragon Dance Bax Caliber. Not a single value here. Unless you don't go for e-speed, which I would love you forever. But I feel like it's such an easy call. Or you go for Vacuum Wave. All right, that one works. That one works. Vacuum Wave flies out here. Um, the Skelly Dirge outspeed this Dragonite. That would be beautiful. It does not. And Scale Shot's gonna fly here, which we should soak. We should soak. That's three. This is four. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good with this. Unless he goes for five, he gets a crit. Okay, four times it hits. 
Awesome. His defense is going to drop, but his speed's going to get boosted, which kind of gets real ugly in our hands. Shadow Ball launches. How much damage are you doing here? It's a lot of damage. That, that's a good chunk of damage. That's a good chunk of damage. Left there is going to fly. Um, all right. I see you. And I could just go into Primarina here, which is pretty decent here. Question is, does Primarina outspeed you? I hope so. And we're going to go for this. I'm going to go into Primarina here. I'm going to save my Sneasler. I'm going to save my Sneasler. So if I can't get off a slack off, that would probably be the play. I do have Water Terra. Not bad. But I mean, it's not really going to help. If I can get off a slack off, I definitely want to go for a slack off. And I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. Just in case you are multi-scaled. Plus, it's a double down hitting move and we get rid of Ursula at the same time. That would just be good news for us. That would be really good news for us. The Scale Shot does fly here. It's going to end up taking out you. And are you going for Blood Moon? I feel like you have got to be going for Blood Moon. This is just a brutal matchup for us. What, what a way to end today's video. I think this Ursula might even outspeed me as well. This is just ugly. This is just real ugly. Can I outspeed? Primarina, do your best. Do your best, Primarina. Thank you, Primarina. Oh, it's your Hyper Voice. Ouch. Doing some damage. But now mine launches. Does about negative five to this, <laughs> this Dragonite. But we do get rid of this... Uh, we do get rid of this Ursula and the Bear. Okay, so I have Sneasler ready to roll. Um, faking out might be the play. We still have Terra, too. The thing is, I think this Dragonite's multi scale too. I don't think it's inner focus. do not think it's inner focus, so I could just double down into it. I could, or I could attack that. <laughs> this is just brutal. <laughs> this is brutal. Water Terra could be our play here as well. Um, actually, no, we don't have Water Terra. What is your Terra type? I oh, know it is Water. For damage purposes. Um, I think Garchomp just protects. So I'm going to double down in this slot. I'm going to double down in that slot and keep our fairy typing. I don't think there's a point of us terrestrializing. I really don't. Let's see. Fake Out is going to launch you. Are inner focus or are you not? Let's see. Wow, that's some good damage. You are multi skilled, which is beautiful. Iron Head does launch. And we do soak. That's massive, because Moonblast is going to pick up the KO. It's a good call on my end to actually end up going into uh, Fake Out in that slot and making the making the call that it is multi-scale. Um, Primarina picks up some nice damage there. Pick up the KO. Garchomp's chilling on the field, and they're going to go into their final Pokemon, which is Corviknight. Corviknight's here. Um, I think our best bet is going Flying Terror and send us into Garchomp. And maybe just protecting this turn. Because at this point, they can freely EQ. And I'm kind of hoping they go for EQ, because if I can get off this Acrobatics, should do some nice damage. And if I can keep my Sneezer alive, oh my lord. So they, so they do not have Terra. We got Terra. We're setting it now. Looking to bounce back here. Looking to bounce back. Come on, Sneezy. Let's get it. So Flying Terra flies out here. It is unburdened. I mean, we don't have an item, so it's double damage plus the Terra boost. Should do a nice chunk of damage. Any protect guard chop. Why aren't you attacking? And watch, he's going to end up going after Sneasler here. I'm going to be so upset. Attack my Primarina. Attack my Primarina, Corviknight. <coughs> Please, Corviknight. Attack my Primarina. You go for body pressing the Primarina. All right, that's good. That's great news. It's beautiful news. We don't mind that news. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to do that. And I mean, at this point, is Hyper Voice her call? Yeah, I think so. There's a combination of Hyper Voice and... And acrobatic should be able to take out Garchomp, but I don't even think we're gonna be able to get off this hyper voice. is a real, it's a real problem. That be the real problem. We, we honestly might be able to eat up a body press. If that's what they're aiming to go up against. Can't go for EQ. He probably just wants to go for dragon moves now. Into my Sneasler. I'm hoping acrobatics can just like maybe crit here and help us out a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. It does half damage. And rough skin. Oh, rough skin's gonna do some damage to me. And here comes the Iron Head, and we're dead to that. All day long. All day long. All day long. Do you outspeed Primarina? That's the real question. You do not. Body press, we're dead. We do soak. We do soak, and Hyper Voice launches, and it does KO the Garchomp, but it's not going to be enough. It is not going to be enough. The Corviknight outspeeds us here. Is there any possible way I can win this matchup? 
It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. We're going to have to hit this thing probably like three times. That's going to be game. So what a third and final match coming down to the wire. I am obviously going to click Hyper Voice, but you just get a body press, finish this game off. And there it is. GG's. We go 1-2 for today's video. Not bad. I still feel like we showcased this team really well. So guys, we tried out Skelly Dirge in today's video, and honestly, I thought it worked pretty well. It did some nice damage with Torch Song, did some nice damage with Shadow Ball in match number 3. All around, just a solid Pokemon, but very niche in this Regulation H format. You gotta get it out at the right time, you gotta make the right plays with it, unlike these meta Pokemon such as like Sneasel, Golden, and Cinnabon, and all those guys. You guys can just throw them out at any time, and they're gonna thrive. But still, 1 and 2 for today's video, I feel like we showcased this team really well but guys that is gonna be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash the like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know what all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody